Hello, my name is Joel Lababa, and I am the Franchise King. You're going to get the FDD. You're, you're, you're probably going to get it early on, maybe after the first couple phone calls with the Franchise Development Representative. Of course, the FDD is the Franchise Disclosure Document, which you are, you are required by law to get sent to you. Uh, it might not be a hard copy like this. It might be via email. It's fine. That's what everyone is doing these days. Technology is a wonderful thing. Anywho, uh, there's something you need to know about the FTD, um, and it has to do with when you receive it, or in this case, when you don't receive it. Here's the deal. I would say that 85% of, of the uh, uh, franchise ors um, send the FTD within the first couple phone calls, within the first couple weeks of you showing interest in their franchise opportunity. That's when they should send it. However, and I've seen, I've been seeing a lot of this lately with my clients. They've been telling me that, Joel, you know what? You keep asking me if I've received the FDD. Um, I haven't. And, and I ask, well, why haven't you? Well, they said that they, they really like to present the FDD when I go visit headquarters for Discovery Day. <clears throat> warning, warning, warning. No, 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 no. If a franchisor tells you that they're not going to send you the FDD until you visit headquarters, that's a huge red flag. There are several reasons for it. The first reason may have to do with the number of lawsuits <laughs> that uh, are being shown on the FDD, all right? Because franchisors have to show recent lawsuits, all right? Um, another reason why is because um, they may not tell you all of the fees that you're going to uh, have to pay. Uh, for instance, there might be a technology fee that you pay every month that might not be in the online brochure or on the website, and you find out that it's $250 a month, but it's only in the FDD that you find out, all right? So, so those are two reasons uh, for that. Um, uh, another reason, and, and this is really a long shot, but the, the history of the CEO and the other executives um, is written in paragraph form in the FDD, so you can find out their backgrounds. Once in a while, um, the background of an executive at the franchise uh, at franchise headquarters may be a little uh, circumspect. Um, there may have been um, an issue of fraud, <laughs> which is uh, kind of huge, um, that must be disclosed, but it's not like the franchise sales representative is going to tell you that ahead of time. By the way, you know, thanks for looking at 1-800-WE-INSTALL-SPEAKERS in your car uh, for $99. But, um, you know, the, uh, the CEO, who's a brilliant guy, he's been sued by like five times. And four of those times he was sued for fraud. No worries. He's a great guy. It, it, they're not going to tell you that ahead of time. That information is only going to be found out in the FTD or if you know how to do really good franchise research. Here's a tip. Google the Definitive Guide to Franchise Research. Again, type it in your favorite search engine, the Definitive Guide to Franchise Research. It's my guide, and um, it will explain everything about how to do research, including exactly what to do if the franchisor refuses to send you the FDD. They have to send it to you, all right? They have to. If they are telling you we're not going to show it to you until you visit us in person, I have one suggestion and one suggestion only. Walk away. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Ababa. Thanks for watching.